Dolly 3 has got even better with creating images and I found a way that you'll never have to make a thumbnail using Canva or Photoshop again. You can just use Dolly 3. It takes 30 seconds and you have a high clickable thumbnail for your YouTube video. Okay, it's super simple to do. I'm gonna show you how to do it in this video, okay? So first, you wanna to go to a competitor's channel. So you know, I have some videos talking about YouTube growth. It's not all my videos, but I do have some. And this would be a competitor because this person also talks about growing your YouTube channel. I'm gonna scroll down. I'm gonna to try to find a YouTube thumbnail that has a high number of clicks. So this one has a high number of views. One problem is got a man's face on it. How about let's do two in this video. Let's do two examples. I'm gonna do one with a guy's face in it. I'm gonna do one where there's no face in it. Okay, this one would be very simple to do, but let's try to make it a little difficult for the AI. So we're gonna take this one first. Let's start with this one. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna right click. See, I found this thumbnail that I like. I'm gonna right click it. I'm gonna copy link address. I'm gonna go to download YouTube thumbnail. I'm gonna search this in Google. I click this first link, I'm paste this in, click get thumbnail image. And boom, that's the thumbnail right there. Nice and HD, big image. I'm gonna right click, I'm gonna save this image to my computer. Now I'm gonna open up ChatGPT and I go to the default GPT-4. And with the new update, you'll see that GPT-4 has vision now in this bottom, which means you can attach images. So I'm gonna attach that image. Here's that thumbnail, let's open it up. Here it's loaded and we're gonna go describe this YouTube thumbnail in as much detail as possible. We're gonna make a prompt using GPT-4 that we're gonna paste into Dolly 3 to try to get this exact replica of this thumbnail. So I hit enter and watch it work. So here we go, it's saying the image appears to be a stylized representation, possibly a YouTube thumbnail, set against a black background. Here are the elements in detail. Sensor image, at the heart of the image is a large white cone, funnel shape filled with numerous small white stick figures. Yep, that's correct. Each of these stick figures holds a small white place card or sign with a white YouTube play button on it. Yep, that looks like it to me. Yeah, this is a complicated one. There's a U button on the right side. On the right hand side, Jason, the cone, there's a rectangular button with the rounded edges, the background of the button is gradient, light blue, top left corner, darker shade at the bottom right corner, large white letters. Yes, I do see a raised button that says U. Okay, the arrow and lone stick figure, a large, thick, curved red arrow emerges from the U button, pointing downwards to a single white stick figure at the bottom right corner of the image. This lone figure also holds a place card assigned with the YouTube play button. Flow direction, the overall design suggests a flow or movement. The multitude of stick figures inside the cone seem to be funneling or pouring out towards the lone stick figure indicated by the red arrow. Okay, and finally, the visual elements seem to illustrate a concept possibly related to the idea of many contributors or content creators on YouTube funneling or targeting a single viewer or user represented by the U button and the lone stick figure at the bottom. Now, I don't think that's what, exactly what the thumbnail means, but again, it's just describing how the image looks. Okay, so we're gonna copy this, we're gonna open up a new chat, and this time we're gonna select Dolly 3, and we're just gonna paste that prompt in, we're gonna hit enter. Now, give it a second for Dolly 3 to create the images. Hopefully it gives us two thumbnails that we can choose from, and one of them is similar to that other one. Okay, that's very interesting. It looks slightly different. So if this video was about, see, this is interesting. This video was about YouTube. This play button, I might have to make it edit in Canva. I might have to make the YouTube logo right here. You know, I can see where you got the separate person with the YouTube icon. This is pretty good. This is a pretty high quality visual thumbnail that you could just use right away. With this exact example, you know, I might make some edits, I might add some words or something, but I think that's a pretty good job. And it's definitely something that I'd use on my channel. So we're gonna try this one more time. This time let's use something a little more uncomplicated, I guess. This was a really hard example for the AI. Okay, let's grab this one right here. Right click, copy link. I'm gonna go back to that website. This time we're gonna paste this link in and we're gonna save this. So let's see what we got now. Again, open up a new chat, make sure it's the default GPT-4. We're gonna attach that image and we're gonna go describe this YouTube thumbnail in as much detail as possible. This time I'm not gonna read the full description. You can see it's talking about the text, got the number there, which signifies the views, the black background. It's saying that there's an X axis. Yeah, it's showing that there's a graph, an increase in views, showing a close up of a young man's face and he's holding a bright red Visa card. So that seems to be the gist of it. Oh, wait a second. It also wrote the name on the card is Chris Martin. I didn't even notice that. And yeah, it's right. Okay, that's a little too much detail, but we're gonna take this. Again, we're gonna copy this all. We're gonna make a new chat. You know, this time Dolly 3. And we're just gonna paste this in. 
and hit enter. So let's give it a few minutes here. Let's see what Dolly 3 can spit out with this prompt. Man, are you kidding me? Look at this. I don't think I'm ever going to make a thumbnail again. I think I'm only going to use Dolly 3. This is unbelievable. This is better than his thumbnail. The only problem is this isn't me in the thumbnail image, but that's fine. You know, it's a thumbnail. Look at this. <laughs> the Chris Martin just kills me. Man, this is crazy. I can't believe this first one. This is unbelievable. This was made with Dolly 3. Like You're never going to have to use Canva again. I'm actually going to use this thumbnail. You're going to see this thumbnail on my channel and we're going to see what its click through rate is. You know, I got a video coming up where I show my results of the YouTube promotion beta. I'm just going to use this. So you never have to come up with a thumbnail idea again. You know, you go back to his channel. What you're going to do is you're going to find a thumbnail that you like that's related to a video topic that you're creating. I like to look at the views. See, this was four months ago and it has 800,000 views. So this video is performing a lot better than the other ones. So this tells me that this simple thumbnail is performing well. It's proof, you know, and I would copy this thumbnail. I'd right click, copy the link. I'd go to that website, you know, search YouTube thumbnail downloader in Google. I think all of these work. I've tried most of them. See, this is a different one. It's going to do the same thing. Paste the link in, grabs it right away. Right click, save image as. Go over to chat GPT, create a new chat. Make sure it's the default GPT-4, upload the image. Ask it to describe this, sorry, describe this YouTube thumbnail in as much detail as possible. You know, we're using the prompt in as much detail as possible because we want a large prompt. Now, because it's such a simple thumbnail, it only spat out this length of prompt. I don't know how this is gonna do, but let's try this. We're already doing a high level overview. Get a new chat, make sure Dolly3 is selected. I'm gonna paste that prompt in, hit enter, and then grab one of these. So in this example, I'd probably grab this first one. If you don't like your results, just delete the chat, start again, Dolly3, post that prompt in again. Just repeat this process until you get the thumbnail you want. Download it, upload to your new video, and boom, there you go, high click-through rate. See ya.